Hello, this is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. And it's fucking cold this morning. <laughs> All right, this video is going to be a continuation of the uh, series I'm doing here called uh, The Problem With. And I want to talk about the problem with white knights. Yes, everyone's favorite sort of male, the white knight. You know, what is the deal with the white knight? <clears throat> I think, and, and this is all just my opinion, you guys can share your own opinion as well. My deal with the White Knight is I think that he believes he's carrying the torch of chivalry. When I catch myself, or have caught myself in the past, being a White Knight, I've often felt like I was doing the right thing. Yes, the White Knight is doing the right thing. Uh, he believes he's looking out for women, the feminine the soft, the underpowered, and he's going to teach other men and teach other, uh, I guess, groups of people the way it ought to be. So he feels good about himself in that regard. He feels good about himself when he is chivalrous. So there is one clue to the white knight. When the white knight sees a man misbehaving in front of a woman, in his opinion, misbehaving, or uh, being disrespectful to women, the white knight will run to her rescue. And he's going to straighten another man out. Say a woman is uh, arguing with a man, or it looks like uh, there's gonna be a physical confrontation between her and another woman, the white knight will often step in and he'll try and sound reasonable and uh, in fact a lot of cases the white knight will even become aggressive as if he were an alpha male as if he were a stud of some sort because he'll feel justified he'll feel strong and secure in, in what he's doing and when he's accomplished his task he'll look to the woman in a rather chivalrous manner and he'll say to her there you are ma'am I've saved you and he expects, he expects to be paid. He expects to be paid. Yes, he does. In what? What is the currency of the white knight? It is the gratitude of women, right? If you can remember the childhood stories, the, 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 the princess on the balcony with the kerchief, and she waves to her favorite knight below and she throws her kerchief, her favor, at him, right? And he gallops over and he grabs it before it can touch the ground. Oh, and he can smell it. Oh, he smells her, right? Her perfume or her ass, whatever's on this kerchief. And, uh, you know, if that turns him on, that's fine. But we look at the white knight. What is he doing? He is... He is standing up for his beliefs and he's doing it for the favor that is the kindly thoughts of the princess or the damsel in distress and that is what he gets paid in so his justification is doing the right thing he gets paid in the favor the good thoughts of women so what does that mean does that make him necessarily bad well, not really. But then again, as a man, as a real man, when I see white knights doing that, you know, I pull them off to the side and go, what do you think you're fucking doing, man? I mean, seriously, grabbed a guy and said, come here, explain to me what you just did. And they'll say, well, you know, that guy was, he was talking disrespectfully to his woman. So I went over there and I told him he better straighten up and, and show a little respect. And I say to this guy, I go, what do you think you did to him? I said, in front of all of your friends, in front of all of those women, you were disrespectful to him when you started yelling at him and fighting with him and pushing him around. I tell that guy, look, you're being disrespectful. You're creating a fucking scene above and beyond the scene that was already created. So you're telling me that that woman was embarrassed because she was in an argument with a guy that you didn't like, so you got involved. 
and stopped one fight and created another. You made a bigger fucking mess, but you feel good about it? Why? Why the fuck did you do that? What do you think you're going to get out of it? Well, it's the right thing to do, he would say. I go, really? That's the right thing to do? So instead of a woman being disrespected, now you've, you've made a man severely disrespected. So that's the balance of power, huh? That's how this fucking works? And the guy says, well, you know, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up is what it came down to. I go, what do you think you're going to get from that woman? You think she's going to go home with you? Is that what you fucking think? And I've asked guys that. Do you think she's going to think any more of you than a fucking dupe? Well, well, she knows I'm a nice guy. There you go. You fucking win. Nice guy. Way to go. And it, it's, it's disgusting to me to watch these white knights in action. And I haven't, I mean, I don't face them every single day, but I see them enough, especially in the work environment. When you think about a woman's favor, that's the paycheck. That's the paycheck that a white knight gets. Whether it's 500 years ago, 50 years ago, or today, the white knight gets the same paycheck, and that's the favor. That is the the thoughts, the good thoughts from the woman he just helped. Now, let's take a look at the two different types of women. On the one hand, we've got traditional, feminine, soft, kind, quiet, beautiful women with tits and a vagina. And when you win their favor, you win the pussy, you win the service. You get to own them, in other words. You decide if you want to marry them, and this is old days, right? You get to take them home, they are yours, they will serve you, you will take care of them. You've white knighted, right? You've swept them off of their feet, right? Because you impressed them, they gave you their favor, and the courtship began, and there you go. Now, let's look at the modern woman. <clears throat> The modern woman is a feminist. She believes that she is a man's equal. But they don't really believe that. They believe they are better. They believe not only do they have equal rights, but they have special privileges. And that you, you should serve them. And that they should control both your money and your body. So, let's put ourselves in a situation where there's a woman out here. A feminist woman and I'm not gonna label her beyond that and let's just say she gets into a uh, an arguing match with a man and you as the white knight will run on up there and tell the man to back the fuck up you don't talk to a woman that way right you show some respect don't you know she's your equal you don't get to talk shit to her yakety yakety yak Right? And the other guy's like, hey, fuck it, I'm out of here, right? And he just backs off and walks away. And he, the white knight, has now won the feminist woman's favor. He thinks he's a white knight. She doesn't see it that way. She sees a man that'll go out of his way for her. She sees a man that'll put himself at risk for her benefit. She sees a man that she can take advantage of. She sees a free lunch, a free dinner, and a free place to stay. She sees a chance, an opportunity with a man to control his life for her own.